for the next one. Is it all right? Uh, needs an adjustment. The wire thing. Well, the, the trouble is we're down. I'm going to put that up one because we're down right now at rock, you know, rock bottom on feedability. That's why I'd like you to get a 12 foot torch also just to improve the feed, you know. I mean, it was going good. Yeah. Thanks, Rick. How are we on data now? I mean, are we right on or a couple yeah, of amps less or a couple there. of amps more or a little more wire, a little less? Or? No, I think we're there. I we're there? there? Okay. We need a few more. I think we're going to wrap it up after this where we can get on with the next job. There's three more there. Yep. Good stuff. Because this is, you know, we've done the hardest one. That was the stick out. The ones that were sticking out was the hardest one. See, when they get down, Rick, when you're down on 12 on the wire feeder, we're really hitting rock bottom, you know, because you've got to have that steady motion. Nine to 12 foot torch. Any little improvement then. You know. Oh, you I keep telling these guys, you know, at the end of the day, we're feeding 035 wire here. In MIG welding, 10 foot, 12 foot torches has been maximum for 50 years. See? Oh, it's no problem. I can feed 30 foot. <laughs> and of course, he's got now, he's got like Tom and. But you know, at the end of the day, it, it is about feedability with this. It's always been about feedability. Well, at least drag as possible. And on a job like this, the guy's just going to sit here. He's got that portable feeder. He's got a 12-foot torch. He's got all the flexibility he wants. All right, now rub, up, now rub your, your brush over them. You see your, get, where's your brush? There's your brush. Send you this video.